Hey friends, and welcome back to the channel. Formula One has been a hot topic since the beginning of the year. It feels like we didn't even get a break between seasons with all that's been happening. The 2024 season is yet to begin, with pre-season testing starting towards the end of this month, and the liveries of all teams have not yet been revealed. Following the announcement of seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton's move to the Ferrari F1 team, things have been stirring up within the grid and among key figures in the sport, which has caused a mix of opinions and speculations. But it's not just that. Trouble seems to be brewing within the dominant Red Bull team. What can this mean for the rest of the season, and even into the 2025 season? Let's get into it. Several drivers in the F1 paddock have shared their thoughts on Lewis Hamilton's possible move to Ferrari. Pierre Gasly, who drives for Alpine, has disclosed that Hamilton's surprise move did not take him by surprise. He further added that the information was kept confidential for a considerable amount of time and wished Hamilton good luck in his future endeavours. On the contrary, Fernando Alonso, who was a teammate of Hamilton at McLaren in the past, had some strong opinions about the move. Alonso stated that, a year or two months ago, it was not Hamilton's childhood dream to move to Ferrari, as he had a different aspiration back then. The Spaniard acknowledges that he was taken aback by Hamilton's switch, considering how well integrated he has been at Mercedes as a seven-time world champion. I hope he enjoys the experience. I think it's a very special team. Maybe Lewis can bring that extra to fight for the championship because the car is there. Are drivers feeling challenged now? Are we going to see a more competitive grid? With investigations into Red Bull team principal Christian Horner seemingly having no progress, reports are suggesting that he is being advised by Bernie Ecclestone to step down to minimise damage to himself and his family. The pressure is definitely on as F1 CEO Stefano Domenicali had called Mark Mateschitz, the son of Red Bull founder Dietrich Mateschitz, as requested by Liberty Media, who take overstepping or abuse of power very seriously. Statements have been taken from multiple Red Bull staff, as well as Horner himself, so further investigations will be conducted to verify the allegations being made. Will Horner step down? Will this affect Red Bull's dominance? Ferrari team principal, Fred Vasseur has been making headlines since signing seven-time world champion for the 2025 season. With earlier speculations of Adrian Newey, chief technical officer of Red Bull, possibly joining the Ferrari F1 team. And now, Ferrari is being linked to Red Bull's technical director, Pierre Wasch. As Wascher is Newey's right-hand man, it may put extra pressure on the already strained Red Bull team, with the current allegations being made against their team principal, Christian Horner. And on top of that, sources say that the friendship between Newey and Horner is no longer the same. With Hamilton's move, it was also suggested that Mercedes engineer Loic Serra, joining the prancing horse, was the force in Hamilton's decision. It seems that multiple key figures want to be a part of the Ferrari dream team in 2025. If true, would this be the beginning of a Ferrari winning streak? Following Hamilton's moving announcement, many speculations have been swirling on who his possible replacement would be at Mercedes and second driver to George Russell. The top choice or plan A for the team seems to point to Kimi Antonelli, a junior driver for Mercedes and making his F2 debut this year. He has shown success in his junior career so far and is revealing more of a strong resemblance to a young Max Verstappen, which would be the perfect choice to make the Mercedes team competitive again. The second choice that has been speculated is Fernando Alonso, the current driver of Aston Martin, whose contract is due to end in 2024 and seems to be in no rush to sign an extension with the Silverstone-based team. Alonso's manager was also pictured with the Mercedes team principal, enjoying breakfast and was said to be in high spirits. When asked about his options for the next season, Alonso commented, There are only three world champions on the grid, and there is only one available. So who is it going to be? Who will Mercedes choose to fill in the seven-time world champion's shoes and hopefully become a competitive team again? What else can happen this season? Let us know in the comments below. We'll see you guys in the next video.